Welcome to F260 Week 18, Psalm 1 and 19, entitled, The Two Witnesses to God. There are two very rich passages in this psalm, and it would be an injustice to highlight one of them. So today's lesson, uh, we, we, will, we will examine both. The first passage, uh, the highlight verse is Psalm 19, verse 1 to 3. <clears throat> the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Explaining this, the firmament, the visible heavens, the sun, the moon, and the stars being visible throughout the world, <clears throat> being visible throughout the world, are making God's glory to be known everywhere. Applying this, the heavens, by their magnitude, majesty, and great beauty, being the work of God's hands, reveal the glory of God, thereby glorifying Him and showing Him to be great, majestic, and possessing beauty beyond description. The second passage, uh, the highlight verse, is Psalm 19, verse 7 to 10. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Explaining this, what is more valuable than gold and sweeter than honey? It is the Word of God referred to in verses 7 through 9 as the law, testimony, statutes, commandment, fear, and judgments of the Lord. Uh, Jesus is called the Word in John 1.1. 1, 1. So the adjectives and adverbs here to describe these various components of God's Word describe Him. For he is perfect, sure, wise, joyful, pure, enlightening, clean, eternal, and righteous, more to be desired than gold, sweeter also than honey. My response, the firmament and the word of God, these are respectively the material and moral realms of the world. Without the physical light of the sun and the moral light of God's word, all life would fail. Amen. God bless.